there is something extremely important uh, to be understood very well relation between matter ether and consciousness okay uh, matter is made out of atoms and it's three-dimensional ether is a primordial four-dimensional type of energy that builds universal space and consciousness is ontologically higher reality and ether exists in consciousness so we have a consciousness ether matter okay we can describe consciousness as n-dimensional reality whatsoever but this has to be understood profoundly and the consciousness acts in every physicist as the observer there is the same entity in every physicist physicist which has experience of physical reality and which has experience of an experiment that's why physics as objective science is possible I hope you will get that one day <laughs> there is no physics without consciousness there is no science without consciousness which acts in every scientist as the observer and this is what Einstein actually suggested that uh, that the observer can see <laughs> Uh, different observers can see a given uh, phenomena differently this is just a bullshit okay <laughs> Einstein has invented many ideas that are that are not real that they existed only in in its head and now still at universities we are teaching this crap what is also very essential here is that Einstein still keep time in his model time as a four dimensional space a fourth dimension of space and he had a proper time and coordinate time he was just inventing things out of the blue there is absolutely there is absolutely no proper time there is only proper velocity and the proper velocity depends on the variable energy density of ether energy density of ether on the earth's surface is different than energy density of ether on the moon surface on the moon surface energy density of ether is higher and that's why clocks there run faster as on the earth the same is valid for on the satellites on the satellites clocks run slower because of the special relativity effect because satellite is diminishing energy density of space because of its velocity and that's why the clocks will run slower and because of the general relativity clocks run faster okay <laughs> but the rate of clocks is valid for all observer otherwise GPS system could not work so this Einstein idea about proper time coordinate time inertial system this is just crap nothing like this ever no, nothing nothing of this exists in the universe and once you wake up as the observer as the pure consciousness you see all this you see all this crap and that's why I am so tired 
of listening on the YouTube, all this old stuff about curvature of space, about special relativity, how time is relative, and all this nonsense that gravity is carried by the curvature of space and so on and so on. I am so tired of this nonsense. Okay. So, wake up into consciousness. Step out of your linear time that is running only in your brain. And you will see that everything what, what it's happening actually, it's happening in the same time invariant space. And the basis, the energy basis of this time invariant space is ether. So to talk about that something, about this Einstein idea, close uh, 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 space cur 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 curves, that, uh, that one could come back in the, uh, uh, traveling at the same, in the same, and the same spot in time. This is just pure nonsense. And Gödel, Gödel got that this is nonsense. But nobody got him. Now, now, uh, uh, now uh, people are, 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 are taking citations of the Gödel and say, yeah, because of the Gödel discovery, <laughs> uh, traveling in the time is possible. That's bullshit. The Gödel was very clear that there is a mistake in general relativity. That this, is, this, this makes no sense. Okay. Keeping time as physical reality in physics does not make sense at all. So, wake up. <laughs>